The Yankees and Red Sox played a circus game in the rain the other day, and a lot of weird and bad stuff happened, and this one is brought to you by Dugout Mugs, and Dugout Mug wants to buy you two tickets to see your favorite MLB team play live. All you have to do is promise not to throw a ball at a player on the field and text the word John Boy to 85311 to enter to win two tickets to an MLB game near you. So the Yankees and Red Sox have been playing in the rain. There's been bad calls. There's been tons of weird stuff happening. They start the inning and the pitcher says, hey, something over there is happening. And then over here, Verdugo got hit by a ball from the stand. You can see it fly in and hit him right on the lower back now. Now the story goes, he threw his warm-up ball into the crowd to a Red Sox fan, a Yankees fan, caught it instead and threw it back on the field, hit him in the back. Don't throw things at players. If you're going to throw a home run ball back on the field, you better make sure it's not near a player. This guy's saying, I love you, Verdugo. Fuck you, that guy. But I love you, Verdugo. And now everyone's flipping off the fan and booing the fan that threw it. He's up on the upper deck. Security starts trying to find him. Verdugo, hey, fuck you, dog. Fuck you. Fucking pussy motherfucker. And they're like, up there, up there. Where? Up there, up there. They're trying to find him. This security guard can't find him. Who threw it? He's like, I don't know. Verdugo's mad. Fuck you. Security's like, where? Where is he? The cops are coming down. No one can find him. It's fucking bullshit. Verdugo's pissed. He's got a right to be. He's like, I was looking over there. He hits me in the back. It's not cool. Not cool at all. Fuck you, dog. Fuck you. You guys are sad. You guys are sad fucking pussies. And the the shitty thing is Verdugo loves talking to the crowd. He was on our show, the Chris Rose Rotation, talking about how much he likes interacting with Yankee fans and barbing back and forth with them. So it sucks that now it turned into this. That was just cool, man. That was was one of the the cooler baseball moments that I've had. That guy, um, his name was Mark, actually. So, you know, he he was just, you know, kind of jawing at me. But, uh... Like I playfully was, you know, John right back with him, like, you know, prior to this, the whole game. And, uh, you know, at the, at that point I was like, I was like, you know, I was like, Hey bro, you're my dog. Like, you know, I had just got that hit too. So, you know, I, I went and showed him some love. Now the kid, we have video of the kid who's in the crowd and he's just kind of shaking and sitting and waiting and shaking and sitting and they're pointing him and everyone's pointing at him. And he's kind of just sitting there and shaking and shaking and shaking. They say this guy. And he says, yeah, he says, come with me. And he gets up and he goes, a lot of people in the section are saying he got the ball. The whole crowd started chanting, throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. So he succumbed to the peer pressure and threw it back and didn't mean to hit him. Listen. Peer pressure is an excuse, and if you throw a ball in the field, make damn sure it's not going near a player. You can't can't just uh, plead ignorance or innocence there. You hit a player with a ball, man. You can't do that. So there he is getting taken out. Security escorts him to the cops. He's on his way. Verdugo explains it to his manager. I had my fucking eyes over there, and he hit me in the fucking back with a ball. Sums it up. Kind of sums up exactly what happened right there. So he's pissed. They're coming off the field. They're taking the players off the field. It's fucking bullshit, bro. Fucking weak-ass motherfuckers, man. He's not happy. They're just taking him off the field. It's also pouring rain, and they're probably like, we don't want to play in the rain, and we don't want to play with a bunch of fans throwing balls at our players. And Corey's saying, like, dude, we can't go back out there. It's out of control. They just threw a ball at him, and you're telling me we got to go back out there? And the umps were telling him, yeah. There's even more rain coming, so we got to finish this inning before the m- bigger rain come. And Cora's like, what are you talking about? i got to go tell this guy that he's got to go stand back out there when he's got all those fans now riled up and mad at him because he got hit, and then he screamed at them, and they're like, yeah, that's what we got to do. And Cora's trying to protect his dude here, but the umps have nothing up. They want nothing to do with it. They're just saying, nope, you got to go back out there. So we got to go tell Verdugo, like, hey, Doogie. And he's like, oh, I'm not going. Fuck that. I'm not going. Put myself in the line of fire again. They just, what if there's more fans with balls, and now they're all ganging up and want to be mad at me. And then finally he goes and the um says, hey, uh, uh, if someone does something, just let us know. And he's like, uh, what are you going to do? And the coach says, you got me. Just yell my name. Got me. And the um says, you're good. You're good. And then third base coach Phil Nevin also says, you know, something to him like, hey, I don't know what Phil Nevin says, but all the Yankees coaches, everyone said like, that's bullshit. And fuck that fan. Rightfully so. Whether he meant to hit him on purpose or not, he hit him with a ball. He threw it on the field. It's not cool. It sucks for Doogie. He's got to go back out there and just put his back towards that crowd that was just screaming at him the whole time. That sucks, man. They did uh, the van who got thrown out. He got banned from all 30 ballparks for 
life. So if you're also on the banned list like that kid, don't listen. If, if you are free to go to games, Dugout Mugs wants to buy you two tickets to see any MLB team play live completely free. Takes less than 30 seconds to enter. Text the word John Boy to 85311 to enter to win. Make sure you tell a couple friends to enter. So if they win, they'll bring you to the game as well. If you win and you go, don't throw a ball at a player, please.